Here we are again at another car meet. The theme is cars that you think are undervalued. So in GTA, they're too cheap. They are just too cheap. Now, I'll explain my car, which is the Kanjo. I think the Kanjo right now is 435 trade and 580. Now, if you compare that to the Kanjo SJ, you're looking at 1.07 million. Now, if both the Kanjo and the Kanjo SJ came out at the same time, I think for sure the normal Kanjo being more popular been a bit more. So it would have been like 1.1 million. So between 400 and 600K, I think that is a really cheap option. Now, there's cars that I would have brought like first generation cars, but it's understandingly cheap because there's no hiding the fact that Rockstar have just inflated their prices crazily. And this may inspire you as well to buy a certain car because you'll see the price unless they're off the website. But then if they're off the website, you could actually go into our Discord and buy up somebody else. But anyway, let's go to the first spot. Enough rambling, Keller. And we are at the next spot. A really cool actual car meet spot. It's in the car park of this like apartment area. And yeah, they're all bouncing around in here. We're all having fun. Asad here said that he got 50 friend requests on PS5 because of the video I did last time where I said everyone add him. My bad bear. There we go. We've got a clear description of his name. I think we can do better than 50 friend requests. And he's always in the session with us. Yeah, the Shaft V12. Definitely a cheap car. 116,000. It's such good value for money considering how fast it is. Yes, it is a first gen car. But I think... Oh, yes. The Tauros. The Tauros. I always... I, it, I can't get it over my head how this is under 500,000. I think it's 498,000. It baffles me every time and this is a nice one because I find it hard to get a good color and wheel combination with the Tauros. It's all it's too hard. There's only a few options that fit and Tony's does. And I'm surprised it's still on the website as well. Oh, and we've got BCAF here. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't think he can hit the roof. Damn. But what I do for this car me is I'll commentate the car. Probably guess the price because uh, off of my memory. And then I'll put the actual price as a text. But I think right now I've been agreeing with every car, but isn't this... Oh yeah, definitely. The Banshee 900R2 being a good choice. Right, let's go to the next spot. Okay. I guess there's ways of not getting bored. What is this? What's happening? This is not a normal car meet lineup. Okay, we are going to Michael's house. What? There's a shafter there. I need to get this shafter. Ah, oh, has to be a Sibian car. And we are now all parked up at Michael's house. Uh, invited guests, I think. And yeah, as you can see, Michael's house can withhold more than 30 people. It, literally more than 30 people. You can get more than 30 cars here. And yeah, easily 30 cars. 1.175 million. Yeah, I would say, I wouldn't say it's crazily undervalued or underpriced. I would say it. It is a bit, it's slightly underpriced, I'd say. I, it's really fast and, and yeah, up there in the SUV category. Oh, the e-tron? Really? But yeah, the Duke's first gen car, again, you expect it to be cheap. But this one looks so nice. This one, yeah, I don't know what he's done to it, but it looks so fresh. Oh my God. BCAF is making everyone anxious around him. He's getting too close to this Turismo. <laughs> Who? Who brought this? Who brought the police car? How... How is that undervalued? I don't know. I don't know what he's playing at. I don't know why he thinks it's undervalued. What is with these guys? All the lowrider guys are really pushing their look. Look at that. Calm down. You don't need to go anymore back. The Xeon Classic. Hmm. As I said later on, I will look at the cars and then I'll put like a little text saying how much they cost. Because really, I can't check them all now because of the website not having every car on there. So yeah. And Mathbud wants me to record his car, which is this car over here. Again, I wish I knew what the price was. But anyway, how do you intend of getting out of here? Well, I will show you because we are going to leave right now. All I have to do is do a few beeps and we'll see how long it takes. <laughs> right, let's fast forward from here. Do you know what? It wasn't that long. There we go. Thank you for letting me... Oh. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. I hit... I am so sorry. I hit his car because I was scared of Bobby over here doing a wheelie. Oh, I need to stop and apologize to him. What was his name? Damn. Look at this. What is... <laughs> How is everyone following me today? It's so weird. Every single lane, even the pavement people are using. It's become some sort of takeover, neighborhood takeover. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Oh, no, I'm driving really fast because I just saw the AI with the new Calvacade. Uh, I just thought... I'm following him. 
<laughs> Oi, Tony, what are you doing, Tony? Why is he swinging like that? What's it doing? Right, let's just keep following it. Let's see where he takes us. Oh, he's lost. Oh, nice. Nice. Good driving. Good driving. <laughs> and my guys are all still taking over the street. But it's fine. It's fine. Ah, oh, I was turning there. Oh, nice. We literally just got here, which I guess is the good thing because I'd rather it happen now than it happen when everybody is here. Look at his car on fire. Look at his tiny wheels. Look at the hovering. <laughs> it does look funny. It's a bit of a shame, but yeah, I wish it. Uh, yeah, but yeah, the car meat carries on. Oh no, someone's dumpster's been. Oh, that was a cops, wasn't it? Is there any other cars that have been shot or damaged? I mean, there's other cars here with bullet holes, but I think that's for a reason. I think they lowered the car. <laughs> like this car as well is also got bullet holes in it. This car too has also got bullet holes in it. Oh no. Oh no. This the cop wants to blow us all up. Look at the cop. Okay. I think we should go to the next spot. Oh no. No, this is the odd been shot. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, someone's got cops. We need to move. Uh, this is silly. Yeah. There's a UK cop. <laughs> yeah. Let's all go. I miss these cars. I miss these cars. But in the next part, I will be going through them. Please don't get angry at me. Okay. There we go. What is he doing over there? Wait, does this guy actually think the euros? Nice. Nice. He crashed. Does this guy actually think the euros is underpriced? But yeah, I think what I will do instead of actually getting the prices from my memory i'll price the cars as if they were released today so what i think they would be if they released today so my car for example about 1.1 million 1.2 million i think it would cost if it released today if we talk about the comet retro i think 1.4 million considering that the comet s2 is around that much but then again this is benny's yeah maybe 1.3 1.4 million Ooh, another one that would be around 1.2 million the torero i think yeah 1.2 million sounds about right let me look at equivalent cars right now what's actually released recently that is similar to that car actually i don't even know yeah there's not much to compare this with there's not been any recent classic sports cars in the game or oh, tornado i can't really Oh, it's hard to... Because if we actually look at the lowrider spec, I don't think it's undervalued. Well, I'd say maybe 900,000. 900,000 for the Tornado with the Benny's upgrade on there. The Panto, maybe 150. I wouldn't say it's that much. All the very small compact cars in the game are really cheap. And now we're looking at another sports classic, but I guess it's an F40. So I would say 1.6 million sounds about right for the Turismo classic not including hw of course sultan rs a bit outdated when it comes to looks but 1.4 million sounds about right all my guesses are kind of okay the euros considering how much suvs cost now look 1.7 1.8 million it's hard to say nearly yeah 2 million i think the toros will cost right now but it's 498k it makes no sense we have two zeon classics here the Zeon Classic, it's a diff very difficult one to price. Um, I would say 1.1 million sounds about right. 1.1 million for the Zeon Classic. We have the Sentinel. Hmm, the Sentinel. It's difficult because we've got the Astro GZ, which is 400 and something K. But the Camry is very popular. I think 600K, the Sentinel. Or is this excess? Yeah, the Sentinel XS should be around that much. And then pricing the convertible and the normal Sentinel might be like 700K instead even though this has more modification. We've done the Sultan. This one, this one's pretty nice. It's got a number plate for Resh. And look, I wait for the day I get added. See guys, as I said in the earlier the video, add this guy, screenshot the video and add him. He wants to get added by you guys, not me. That message was not for me. It was for you guys to add him. Let's see how many friend requests he can get. So yeah, the Rebler GTS with the number plate, I'm the G. <laughs> I think the pricing of it, 1.6 million would be like today's price. Again, comparing it with the SUVs right now. Kanjo, I've already priced my Kanjo. Here's one in red with black wheels. And we've got, yes, a plate that doesn't need to be censored, but it, you know where he's getting at. Okay, you guys are flying too low to be. Shouldn't be flying. Remus, hmm. The Remus should be, should be 1.5. I'd say 1.5 sounds fair. Trismo R, because I don't know. I think uh, the uh, it'll be about the Itali GTO's price. Maybe 1.7, 1.8 million. Probably 1.8 million. But it's 500k, so yeah. I think the Toros can't be beaten when it comes to value for money. Again, another Turismo 
are, but yeah, this is a different color, different wheel. Ooh, this is nice. I really like this. Look at the texture of the paint. It is very different. The price, I would say 1.2 million. What? No, no, no. One, no, probably 1 million. Exactly 1 million or just below 1 million. Casco, again, a car. It's hard to compare these classic sports cars. I don't think they sell well in GTA. That's why they hardly bring any out. Because there's a lot of cars to bring. But I'd say, yeah, maybe about 1.1. Uh, I feel like all my guesses are near the same. Let's say Shafter V12, I think 600,000 should be enough. I know it's a bit low for today's, but look at the simple shapes of this car. AC Classic, 800k, I'd say. It is quite fast, hence the plate sleeper <laughs> the windsor the coupe version with the new plates hmm how much would i say this cost yeah it may be 1.2 1.2 million i would say that's a fair price he's got these modded wheel texture paint and yeah schwarzer of course you can get it off the street and it's got all those new modifications i'd say about 1.3 million sounds about right for the schwarzer even though it doesn't make sense because I put the shaft of V12 as lower. But this has new modern modifications and it has a lot. So the Euros, maybe 1.2 million. I say 1.2 million sounds right. The Cypher, 1.4 million. I think it's already like 1.2 or just under. Not as good as value for money than a lot of other cars here. What is happening here? Why is there a plane behind us? Okay, it's best of show time. And as you can see, my car has zero boats. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, we have two boats on this panto. Ooh, two. Is this three boats or two boats? Oh, no. That's him, AFK. Uh, two boats on this Zeon. Two boats on that Zeon. Ooh, never mind. I think we have a clear winner. The Casco has won. And yeah, the Casco has won. Really wasn't a card that I was expecting, but there it is. I'll get this thumbnail. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did in any way, please do leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.